some of that back. Um, after Thursday night, we knew it was back. That skid row has just brought some of that back uh, in a big way. So 31 was down, but 32 is big. <laughs> Hey guys, Mark Waddington here, Casamain Rod Shop. We're only a couple of hours away from the wild card. Me and Barry Hall were lucky enough for our team to get a wild card today, so thanks to the boys from the Summonats. We just done the lotto ball draw. Uh, I'm gonna come out car 12. Uh, the big fellas are car eight, so the wind's starting to pick up. It should be good. Um, the Rod Shop team, massive effort. The trailer set, the stand's going. We're selling merch, we can't keep up with the hats, the mud flap and the Mexican, it's going really well. Car's prepped up, Benny Nogas has done a stellar job on the engine. Um, it's set, it's ready. Uh, it's up to me now to keep it off the wall. Well, we're here, someone that's 32. I was lucky enough to get a wildcard entry. I'm not sure how that happened, but I'm not gonna ask questions. I went into the draw, we had to draw a ball out. There's 25 entries. I drew number eight, so uh, eight's not too bad. You don't wanna be number one, that's for sure. Pressure's on you, but number eight, a lot of people saying you're nervous, you're a bit excited, I'm really excited. I've only done one comp before this and straight to the big dance. So I'm very, very lucky, thanks to someone else for putting me in. Um, hopefully it pays dividends and I can get to the top five in the wild cards and, and go to the, to the big dance on Sunday. Day two at Summer Nats, 32. People are starting to really roll in now. It was a bit quiet yesterday, today they're, they're packing in, have a look at them. We're gonna go out in blown HJ, do a couple of laps, see if we can get a cheer and a couple of thumbs up. Summer Nuts Saturday, the big day. Um, I'm lucky enough for the team Rod Shop Warbird. Uh, we're through to fight it out with the best in the country to try and make tomorrow's Masters. Uh, we skidded Thursday, the car didn't miss a beat. I got lucky with my tip in, the car landed where I needed it to go. Uh, my co pilot guided me around the pad, so we got out of the smoke really well, and, and the engine is singing, so we're really confident. I'm going to check the car today, it's ready to go. I've got ball 29. We've got a massive tailwind, so I am nervous. All drivers are nervous. Uh, you can't get out of that tailwind. If it grabs you, you can either take the risk or you take your foot out of it. So uh, to all my boys at the workshop, I'm going to take the risk. We'll see what happens. So there's overtime next week. We know what we're fixing. Well, summer notes, I hadn't been here too often. I come here last year for the first time. I love this, look, look at all the people around. They're all car enthusiasts, they're all passionate. Right up my alley. We've been doing some laps. Usually you get heckled, but they've been pretty good. So I'm uh, thankful for that. We've been giving out some hats to some of the kids and stuff like that. So um, we're winning the crowd over there. So Castlemaine's doing a good job. Out on Thursday, unfortunately didn't make it through. We we're, we we're in the wild card entry. Top five went through. Um, I just missed out, but the car stayed straight. I didn't bang it up against the wall, so I was very relieved. Um, obviously, being a big stage and all those sorts of things. I was a little bit anxious, but I was more excited than anything else to do it in front of a big crowd, not hit the wall, and everyone come up and praise me afterwards, so I was a happy man. Hey 
guys, here we are, day four, summer nats a Sunday, the hangover day. Um, I have behind me the Warbird, we skidded yesterday to qualify. The skid was going really well, we got deep into the skid. Um, I believe we had a transmission lock up, there's a massive noise come out, but we don't know until we get back there. Um, but uh, after the lock up, unfortunately, my own stupidity, I should have shut it down a little bit quicker. One second too late and it's grabbed the engine, caught the rods, thrown something out in the bottom. So. As the crowd's seen, we dumped, dumped uh, 18 litres of oil on the pad, so I apologise for the, the boys after me for that. Uh, up on the tilt train, we brought it back here. So, uh, downside is we've only got about six weeks to get it going again to go over Tassie. So, the boys back at the rod shop uh, are going to work really hard, and I appreciate it. Everything they do, they've done a really good job. Uh, Benny Nogas will have to rebuild the engine, which he's already looked at it this morning. Um, so, we're making a game plan. Um, and a new man on the team is Paul Rogers, the transmission he would have heard about by now. It is an old second hand one, it's not his one, but this time it will be his one, it will be a new one, and hopefully we have better luck. So, uh, anyway, all aside from that, the skid was awesome, we loved it till that stage. We have been flat out down here. Uh, Barry and the boys have done a sensational job, and I thank them for that. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned, we should have it back on the pad down in Tassie in March. Thanks, guys. <laughs>